If you've been catching up with this series, you've probably caught on with the titles and how they're based off of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Roderick Rules? Nah, we got Karen Rules. The Last Straw? Nah, we got The Last Customer. The literal Walmart versions. Anyways, as I was writing the next episode to this series, I was thinking about the title. Dog Days, Cart Pushing Days, Tired Days? Huh, nah. You know what? Let's talk about Black Fridays. I used to be a Walmart cashier and I forever give respect to workers who work on Black Friday. Cindy, what time are you working on Black Friday? 12 to 10. AM or PM? AM? I'm not gonna get any sleep. We know about our schedules two weeks in advance. So we'd count the days off to the chaotic weekend. That's what we called it, the chaotic weekend because Saturday and Sunday after Black Friday were just as bad. Every day before the doors would open, we would have a meeting at the self-checkout floor. It felt like we were on a football team. All right, team. We you ready? Yeah! One, two, three, we're a family! Nobody could take any days off that weekend. All hands on deck. The bright side though, those three days we were paid overtime. So our checks would be fat, we'd be bawling. However, was it really worth it? Cause customers IQs would go down the drain those days. Bro, give me that air fryer. Oh snap, there's a fight, there's a fight. There's a discount on this, right? Cause it's Black Friday. Um, sir, you're only getting yogurt. And these customers, they would just spawn out of nowhere. Hey, I heard there's a 10% discount on damaged items. Yeah, we do. What's seems to be the problem. Oh, it's out of the box. Yeah, yeah, you mind explaining how it's out of the... And these lines, they would be insane. I would try to go as fast as I can. And I was actually a fast and efficient cashier. I would always get compliments from all the customers. And if this was an Olympic event, I would easily have been first. But it didn't matter how fast I was, people would still complain about the lines. Sir, do you have a manager nearby? Did she just call me sir? Well, whatever, yeah, I'll go get him. What well, seems to be the problem, ma'am? Can y'all go any faster? Ma'am, we're doing the best we can. If you want, the line at self-checkout is shorter. I'm not doing self-checkout. They're stealing people's jobs. Karen alert. Ma'am, we have all hands on deck. If anything, self-checkout's actually helping. Huh, whatever. Tell that to corporate. Wait, wh why are you filming? What did I do? Uh, I don't care enough. Hi, corporate. Meanwhile, we have the customers who come for normal things, but they decided to come at the worst time. Man, I'm only here for bread. But they're actually really chill and understanding, and they're willing to wait for an hour or two to check out. Ugh, just this, boss. I'm so sorry for asking, but you waited this long for bread? Uh-huh. Wait. Shoot! Oh, wait, I forgot my wallet. Yeah, dude, no problem. I can hold on to this for you and you can just come back here with your wallet. No need to wait in line again. Nah, it's fine. I'll just come back tomorrow. Wait, but sir, tomorrow's gonna be just as bad. But let me share another crazy thing that my store would do. Surprise sales. So randomly throughout the day, we would announce a random sale in a certain section of the store. All right, everybody. So for the next 30 minutes, these toasters will be 50% off. And they had to be monitor one of these sales. And do you think I got attacked? Everybody went running towards me. Orderly line, orderly line. Ah, oh my God, oh my God, orderly line. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Be nice, don't fight, don't fight. A few moments later. Oh my God. Uh, oh, wait, where's my vest? Where's my vest? Did you even work at Walmart if you never got traumatized? I'm gonna go on my 15. Wait, Jorge, before you do that, can you go outside and bring some carts back into the store? We don't have any more inside. Here's a new uniform. All right. They would send me outside to push carts and boy, outside the store was just as chaotic. I would push eight to 10 carts back into the store with my buddy Ryan. And as we we're approaching the store, some people would stop us. Hey, can I have a cart? There's none inside. Um, sure. Me too. Hey, me three. And then the blink of an eye we would be left with no carts um let's go get more and again as we're approaching the store a whole mob comes and takes our carts it came to the point where they were just waiting for us at the entrance hey here they come it'd be non-stop never ending about an hour or two of this and then i would be tired you know now i think i'm gonna go on my 15. it was a crazy weekend to work there Yes, sir. Follow the Instagram. Me, I wish I knew.